Welcome to Desert Sports Live. I'm Albert Velarde. And I'm Stephen Parks. Well, it was the first round of the playoffs, so Albert's going to take us out to Los Lunas. Thanks, Stephen. It was a fantastic game. Probably one of the best this season. The number 11 seed Page Vista Panthers made their way down to Los Lunas to take on the number 6 seed Tigers in the first round of the 6A playoffs. The Tigers would get the scoring started as number 44 Gage Marquez would take the direct snap and run it in from six yards out. For the Panthers, number 22 Felipe Morano would hit number two Amasi Griego with a perfect throw in the end zone to put PV on the board and tie the game up at seven. Early in the fourth quarter, number 10 Nick Halverson for the Panthers would take the handoff from one yard out and that would put PV up 27 to 21 after the missed extra point try. With just under six minutes left, number 44 Gage Marquez would take another direct snap from six yards out and bulldoze his way into the end zone to tie the game up. Unfortunately for the Pedro Vista Panthers, they would fall short as the Los Lunas Tigers would go on to win and advanced into the state playoffs 28 to 27. In more football action, we're gonna head out to Valencia High School to see who's gonna take on the number one team in 4A, the Bloomfield Bobcats with Steven Parks. That's right, it was number eight Valencia and number nine Moriarty would face off last Friday to see who would take on the number one Bloomfield Bobcats tomorrow night. Number two, Mateo Griego Manley would get his team on the board first with an eight yard touchdown run. But it wouldn't take long for Valencia to answer back as number seven, Michael Storms, would punch it in from nine yards out to get the Jaguars on the board. Early in the fourth quarter, number seven, Storms, would get into the end zone from three yards out to give the Jaguars a comfortable 35 to 22 lead. With 325 left in the game and the score 35 to 28, Moriarty's number 33, Royce Dennison, takes it in from six yards out to make it a one point game. Unfortunately, the Pintos would fall short on the two point conversion attempt as the number eight Valencia Jaguars would come away with the 35 34 win and will head to Bloomfield tomorrow night in a quarterfinal matchup against the number one Bobcats. And here's Albert to close us out on the volleyball season. Thank you, Stephen. It was Selection Sunday, and unfortunately, none of our area teams would advance into the state playoffs. So with soccer and volleyball officially over, that means basketball and wrestling season will be starting up soon. So stay tuned for the upcoming winter sports season. Other games tomorrow night in the 4A playoff bracket will be number 12 Chaparral taking on number four Bernalillo, number three Taos will be taking on number six Espanola Valley, and number seven Grants will be at number two St. Pius. This will conclude our weekly segment. Thank you for watching. This has been brought to you by KOBF TV and Desert Sports Live.